Tommy Davis is a spokesman for the Church of Scientology International in Los Angeles. Mr. Davis, good morning to you. Good morning, Meredith. How are you? I am fine, thank you. I know you did not want to speak directly about the Travoltas, and I, I understand that totally, but really you came here to talk about some of the misconceptions about Scientology. So let's start with Scientology and anti-seizure seizure medication. Is that all right under Scientology? Can a Scientologist take anti-seizure medication if it is prescribed by a doctor? Absolutely. Yeah. When, whenever you're dealing with any kind of physical condition, I mean, th this isn't the kind of thing that, that's even an option. I mean, this is this is mandatory. You know, you you have some sort of physical condition diagnosed by a medical doctor, and that doctor is prescribing a medication. The person's going to take it. I mean, just just like anybody else would. And then people who have epilepsy, which is a type of disease which gives them seizures, are almost always found on some minor drug that prevents them from getting these, they call them petite mal seizures. That's epilepsy. I don't care how they call it. Sometimes they really seize, and sometimes it's just slight. If an epileptic ever took you by the hand and so forth, you'll have to break every bone in your hand if he suddenly had a seizure. But the doctors keep them on something to prevent this. It's just a tranquilizer. And they keep them on that one year, we are in, and year out. And then you come along as an auditor, and you try to audit the PC, and you tell the PC that you'll have to go off that drug, and then all of a sudden, why, something will happen from some place or another that the PC will tell the doctor that they have been taken off the drug by the auditor, and the doctor will call up plaintively, asking you to please put her back on the drug, because uh, she needs this. And you get into a collision between uh, medical treatment and so on. Now, I've been using a lot of medical words here, or chemical words, really. Just don't pay any attention to them, because they're mostly gobbledygook. And there's an awful lot of gobbledygook words. Gobbledygook just means nonsense chatter. There's an awful lot of them. not just me, it's you, it's everyone out there kind of rereading KSW and looking at what needs to be done and saying, okay, am I going to do it or am I not going to do it? You know, we have that responsibility to say, hey, this is the way it should be done because we do it this way and people are actually getting better.